how do we impersonate people on uh, WebSockets, and how do we fix that? Um, I'm Tom, and uh, oh well, that'll, that'll work. Oh, that's fine. Okay, um, going to be using two open source libraries to, to demo this. Uh, the first one is uh, Together JS, which is from Mozilla. It lets you do collaboration of, on web pages um, in real time, uh, and then the other one uh, for the WebSocket server. Um, I'm going to be using a gem called Rubame. Uh, I picked it just because uh, it was easy to use, and, uh, and for the demo, that's really all I care about. Um, I, I should say that this is not like a, you know, a hack. This is uh, a well-documented uh, consideration, security consideration in the WebSocket RFC. Uh, WebSockets don't provide client authentication, so it's the developer's responsibility to do that. Um, and so uh, for this demo, I've created two repositories. One is a, a Rack web app, which has you know, simple login and registration, um, uses active record to store the user uh, records. Um, and then I've got, uh, using that Rubame gem, I've got a, 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 a hub for the WebSocket server. Um, Together JS comes with a node server, and uh, the same properties apply uh, whether you're using Mozilla's node server or this Ruby WebSocket server. Um, so it turns out uh, for Together.js, it's really easy to uh, do this uh, demo to impersonate. Uh, you can do it in two lines of code. And so uh, I'll do that. So there's Alice, there's Bob, and uh, that's me, and so I'm going to Go there, and then see if I can shrink myself. All right, excellent. So, oops. Oh, well, first, before I do that, I should probably show how this thing works. <laughs> um, and uh, make sure my servers are running. That would be good. There's my web server. There's my socket server. Let's just restart it. All right. Let's refresh everybody. Okay, so, all right, so Bob's working, Alice is working. This must be fascinating to watch me do this. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so um, Alice moves around. You can see on the other two, Bob and, oops, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. We're going to do a hard reboot. How's that? All right, yeah, this is like the Millennium Falcon if this thing stays together. <laughs> All right, um, okay, so Alice moves around, Bob moves around, and uh, here's Tom with the weather moves around. I'm gonna be the attacker. Um, and so, uh, you know, the, the purpose is, is we don't want peers to be faked out and associate actions with uh, people that they're not. So, and together JS, not only do you have mouse movements uh, being uh, relayed to, to everyone in the, in the group, but you also have chat ability, so you don't want uh, people impersonating during chat, and, and we'll use that as a, a test. Um, so uh, let's get our session here, and then um, we just do s.client ID, and um, I, I can look in my uh, JavaScript console to see the client IDs pass by and, and decide who I want to impersonate. Um, so I'm going to impersonate Bob, so all I have to do is um, Set this to Bob's ID. Oops, what did I do? Let's try that again. All right, so um, so let's see now. When I move around in, in my browser, I'm. Uh, you can see the other two people think I'm Bob uh, because the, all the messages that they're getting uh, from me are uh, using Bob's client ID that's set by the Together JS browser library. So if I um, Increase my screen. Um, oops. So what's going on here? All right, let's do that. 
All right, so um, waiting for the, oh, you know what? Well, I was going to show chat, but I don't see it popped up here. All right, we'll, we'll leave the chat out for now for, for some reason. I don't see the chat UI. Okay, so, um, so, so the, the um, explanation is simple. Together JS um, doesn't know what web app uh, is using it. It doesn't, so it has to assign its own client IDs. And so what we need to do is we need to, uh, the, the web app, need, we need to use the web app's uh, IDs uh, instead of together JS, then we need to do some kind of uh, verification on the socket server to, uh, to, to make sure that people aren't uh, um, impersonating each other. So I'm going to um, go back to the uh, um, presentation. Uh, Heroku has a, a web socket authentication page where they say, well, you know, if you've got your web app and your web socket server, uh, on separate servers, um, it can make it uh, using headers, you know, whether they be session headers or whatever, difficult or impossible to, to use. And so instead, they uh, present an alternative, which is to use a, a ticket system. But I think that this ticket system is uh, problematic because if they are on different servers, then you have this uh, potential uh, blocking situation where the web socket server which is a real-time server, uh, has to talk to the web app to verify the ticket. If they're on the same server, then uh, you're just duplicating code, which is already being done in um, Rack Session Cookie. So to, to solve this problem, uh, we, we are going to rely on the, the headers. Uh, we can easily do this um, by uh, the, the, hand, the WebSocket handshake uh, gives us all the headers. So we can just get our, uh, look for our TGS uh, session header that we've set. And then, um, then for uh, every uh, session uh, variable that we would like to verify, uh, we, we need to put that uh, there and we need, we need to associate it with the, with the client after we've done the same verification that the rack session cookie stuff does. So um, as you can see, I, I've just like copy and pasted stuff from, from rack session cookie. And um, so uh, I thought it was important that I add some Ruby to my presentation. So uh, you can see that I'm setting uh, user ID and, and name. So those things will be uh, verified. And, and so uh, the reason we're doing user ID is because uh, every message that gets sent uh, attributes uh, a cursor action or, or a, a text action with that ID, and the reason we're doing the name, or in this case, email, is because that's the display name, and so we don't want anybody faking the display name. So, uh, so let's fix this, um, and, and so all we gotta do here is uncomment this code out that I cleverly commented it out to show the um, attack. So I'll go and restart this, and now, um, now everything should be fixed. Get Alice and Bob back. OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Oh, I'm on the wrong. That's my presentation. OK, so I'm going to refresh. Um, now I'm going to uh, do that. Set my client ID to 6. And now if I try to impersonate Bob, it closes my connection, and it doesn't get relayed to uh, Alice or Bob. And um, I can't believe the chat UI didn't show up. Well, anyway, that's, that's it. Thank, thanks for your time.